The new Go IDE makes it very easy to navigate our project. If we want to go to a type, press Command O, write what we want to go to, even use camel case completion. We want to go to a file, Shift Command O, enter the name of the file. We can even navigate to a symbol, Alt Command O, write JSON. Go to declaration by invoking Command B. See the structure of a file by using the structure window. From there, we can navigate to the different symbols. We can navigate easily back and forth through files by pressing Command E. If we want to see the recent edit, Shift Command E will take us to there, as well as different windows. On any symbol, we can press Alt F7 to give us the fine usages. If we're on a symbol and we want to see the definition, instead of navigating to it, we can just use the quick definition to get that information. Many features provide us coding assistance. Let's say we want to write a function, handle request, and this takes a specific type, HTTP request. Automatically, the IDE imports it for us. The IDE also provides us with completion, but it takes it one step further and provides us with smart completion, giving us contextual completion of what makes sense. Code generation allows us to easily implement methods. Parameter hints provide us with the name of the actual parameter. Of course, we can get more information by pressing Command P. If we want to find out information about the method call, just press F1 to get quick docs and get some help. If we want to find the type for a specific expression, we can just select it, press Shift Control P and figure out what the type is. The IDE comes built in with many inspections and quick fixes. It gives us hints, warnings, etc. on issues with our code. Here we can see that there is a potential typo. We can come further down and see, for instance, here we have a redundant argument that we can clean up. Trying to assign a value to a constant will give us an error. We can use a quick fix to easily introduce fields. Much the same way we can use inspections to create from usage. In this case, we want to create a function get short host name. If we create a second get short host name, we get a notice that this is actually a duplicate entry and we can navigate to the duplicate. We even get warnings of recursive calls. When an import is not available, we can just press Alt Enter and have the IDE fetch it for us. When it comes to editing code, we have the simple layout. We can split vertically or horizontally. In addition, of course, we can have tabs. In terms of code formatting, if we go to code style, we can see that we have code style, which is similar to go format with different options in terms of tabs, indention, etc. Semantic highlighting provides us with the ability to have variables with different colors. If we're a fan of Vim, we can install Idea Vim, providing us with Vim functionality inside the IDE. And of course, we have access to all of the Go tools, including format, project, Go imports, etc. Refactorings are also available. I can do renames, new base counter, and have it renamed everywhere where it's used. Select some code, invoke extract method refactoring, We can run tests from inside the IDE. We can run tests with code coverage as well as debug, setting a breakpoint and debugging our code, giving access to all of our variable information, console output, etc. Being a full fledged IDE, we have access to other functionality, such as a terminal window. We have the built in test RESTful web service, allowing us to access different web services using different verbs, different accept headers. Fully fledged version control integration, providing version control for Git, Subversion, CVS, Mercurial, etc., where we can do diffs, we can do three way merges, all of the things we've come to expect from IntelliJ platform version control. And of course, we have access to database tools allowing us to connect to different data sources, querying information, making changes. Being part of the IntelliJ platform, of course, we have access to all of the things we've come to expect when it comes to HTML, JavaScript editing, etc.